Yo, yo, daily fire. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com for all your supplement needs. Go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire. Uh, I was watching a segment of one of the podcasts and rapper Jim Jones was on it. And he said, when motivation is low, consistency needs to be high. Consistency always needs to be high. But here's the point I liked. He said, if you stay consistent, eventually the motivation will roll back. So you're going to have times in your life where you're more motivated than you're than others. But when there's laws and rules set in motion that your baseline is still extremely high, you've got a chance that when you are feeling it, that you're going to fucking absolutely murder it. But when you're not, you're still so far above the line that you're going to win. And so if you're consistent, then you're basically always moving forward, even if motivation is not high, even if things aren't absolutely killing it, but it's still in motion because when you stay at rest, you're not doing nothing. Actually, you're getting worse. So it was just something that really sparked my mind because my entire life I've been consistent. Some have been higher than others. Some of my execution has been higher than others, but at the end of the day, I've always been consistent. And when I'm down, I try to fight for more consistency. So this really made a lot of sense to me. And I was hoping that would help you guys just to reconfirm, be more consistent, fight for the consistency, push to be more consistent. It will make you better. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but what about on day 183? When you are fucking locked in, ultimately motivated, and there's an opportunity in your life to get better, and you fucking blaze it. That makes all of those 180 days before that worth it. Remember that. Fight for consistency when motivation is low. The motivation will come back, and then you're going to blaze it.